from inside Tropicana Field in Tampa Bay. Major League Baseball on tap. It's the Toronto Blue Jays taking on the Tampa Bay Rays. First pitch coming your way next. Okay, all set to go. Now it's going to be George Springer. And a ball and two strikes. Good eye right there. I got to count two and two. And a two two. Swings and misses. One out. Bo Bichette up to the dish. Here comes the pitch. Slice to right. Drops in for a hit. Couldn't run it down. I'll tell you, man, it's such a good feeling when you smoke a line drive into the gap like that. I mean, sure, home runs are king, but I feel like nothing makes you feel like a true professional hitter more than a bolt the other way. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. now. Nope. Next offering is downstairs. The pitch. There's a strike. The pitch. Squirts away from Zanino. It's ball four. He missed down low. Well, he took his chance at getting him to chase right there, but with first base open, walk not a bad thing. He set up a double play opportunity if he can induce a ground ball. And now Teoscar Hernandez. Line to left. A Rosarena makes the catch. Two down. Man, that's one of those at bats where you have to remind yourself it's about the process. He did everything right right there. Nothing to show for it. But in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at bat. Next pitch inside. Two and one. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. On the ground, right side. On to Franco. And that is the third out of the inning. of the first and now Brandon Lau he provides a surprising amount of pop from the second base position listen that's not something to take lightly getting that kind of production from the guys up the middle it's not a strength of most lineups the next pitch misses two and one and what does that do for a team when you get power from unexpected spots like that when you're in the dugout and you see a guy come up big like that that you don't necessarily expect it it just energizes that entire team Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. And that's the first out. Now batting Wander Franco. Bunch attempt, but that goes foul. And a pitch. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Look out! And it hit him. He had two strikes on him, and he hit him. Well, oh, this has the potential to fire up the offense. Only one out, and now a base runner on first. You've got to stay out of a double play if you're going to make something happen here. Next one misses, and that's ball two. One strike. At the belt and fires. Stays alive. Barrios a check to first. Franco back in on a dive. Left hand batter waits. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. Righty to the plate. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Comes a 2-2. That one pulled foul.
five foul balls in a row. I have no idea what that feels like, but you got to love this battle. Just wondering who's going to blink first. And a swing and a miss. Two down. Now it's Randy Rosarena. The left fielder. Randy. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Well, a great back and forth and that at bat. He had to lay off some really close pitches and somehow, Boogie, found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. Well, with this many pitches thrown here in this first inning, I mean, you're giving the other team a really good look. He's going to have to find a way to get some weak contact, maybe a swing and miss, get into that dugout and hit the reset button. And a pitch. Fouls one away, and now three and two. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. And the right hater deals. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. And a pitch. Swing and a foul ball at the plate. They'll do it again. Two outs, and they're all loaded up. Well, the stage has been set for this offense, Boo. It's all about creating opportunities, and this is one of them right here. Yandy Diaz now. The 1-1. One -one. Hit in the air, right field. Hernandez under it. And that is that. Set for the start of the inning. And now for the Jays, Matt Chapman. The pitch. Bounce to third. That's a hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. There was nothing cheap about the way he got that one through the infield. That was ripped, caught out in front, and didn't get under it like he would have liked, but definitely put a good swing on it. And now here is Alejandro Kirk, and it finds its way through for a hit. Lead runner holds up. They're at first and second with nobody out. Two consecutive base hits for these guys here. Just a simple ground ball the other way. They had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. In the dirt, blocked. Puts the tag on him, and it's a double play. Well, maybe approaching this at bat with a bit too much determination. Sometimes you just got to let the game come to you. Danny. Danny. Now it's chance in the hit. 2 1 pitch is in there, and the count is even. Kicks and deals. And now it's filled up. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score it. And now the lefty, so now two on and two outs. Almost a coin flip for the umpire in that call, but most umpires just don't want to give pitchers a break up in the zone like that. Back to the leadoff spot in the Blue Jays lineup, and the batter is George Springer. Here's a one-two. In the dirt. Well done behind the dish. The pitch. Now one out to right. That takes care of Springer. And that's the third out. Back here at Tropicana Field, bottom half of inning number two. Here's Manuel Margot. That misses. Now two and two. The wide to kick the pitch. And it's filled up. And that's a pitch early in this game. He needs called for a strike. Struggling with command issues. He's got to get a little help from the umpire. Swing and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Here's Mike Zanino. One down, base is empty. Just misses with that one. 
And a pitch. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. Back to back strikeouts. Two outs, base is empty. Digging in, Kevin Kiermeyer. Kiermeyer. Next offering misses, and it's two and one. Here's a rocket out to left. Guriel handles the chance. Out of the third inning, leading off, Bo Bichette. Here's a 1 1. On the ground, right side. Throw over to Choi. Leadoff man retired here in the third. Good fade and sinking action of that changeup. Got that hitter to roll over. Here's Vladimir Guerrero Jr. This guy has turned into a beast. Next offering way off the plate. This hitter's looking for a fastball, but I'm not sure he's going to get one. Pitcher doesn't have to challenge him. He feels better about his off. That one is absolutely belted. Pulls it in on the warning track. Man, he smoked that fastball. He's all over it. It's just frustrating when you can't get it to fall. Maybe next time off, he'll find a hole. So here's the cleanup hitter, Teoscar Hernandez. 0 for 1 so far. He swings and fouls one off. The wind of the pitch. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. The 2-2. Two -two. Right through there. Got it. And it's a 1-2-3 inning. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Now up for Tampa Bay, Brandon Lau. The 2-1. foul ball well the hitter's got his timing down for the breaking ball if you're a pitcher if you can get that fastball in on the hand it's going to be very difficult for that hitter to get the barrel to it and a swing and a miss and there's one down here's Wander Franco he was plunked in his first trip to the plate righty delivers and a count one and two that one foul the wind of the pitch that misses the zone and the count is even two and two and the righty deals foul ball right-hander kicks deals and that's outside. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with the three-hole hitter coming up if he's walked. This one rip, but foul to the right. Ninth pitch of the at-bat due next. That one drilled left field. That's back there. Didn't quite have enough. Here is Austin Meadows. Hit on the ground to the right side. He'll do it himself. Rays retired in order. Now in Tampa Bay, start of the fourth. Here's the left fielder, Lourdes Goriel Jr. That's Next ball offering ball. is down low. Two and one. And he deals. 
Fouls one off to a two. And here it comes. Swings and lines a base hit into left field. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. Absolutely hammered that baseball very loud coming off the bat. 107 was the exit velocity, and at that speed, it's going to be a great result more often than not. The pitch. And ball four, two aboard. That could jumpstart an offense that's really struggled to score in this one. Don't want to wake a team up with the free pass. Alejandro Kirk, the next to hit. Here comes a pitch. It's a big opportunity right here, but I love the way he's slowing the game down. He's shrinking his zone, making sure he gets the pitch that he wants to hit. The next offering misses, and that's ball three. The pitch. That one finds a corner. Three balls, two strikes. Kicks and fires. And that one fouled off. Ground ball could be two. There's one on the chore. Double play. Now it's the second baseman, Santiago Espinal. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. And a pitch. Line drive. That's a base hit. Run scores. Always feels good when you come through and get your team on the board first. Solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive knock. Next pitch misses. And it's two and one. At the belt and fires. Swing and a miss. The baseball is coming out of his hand very well. He's been able to paint all four corners, but really good ride at the top of the zone. Hitters have to respect that. Very difficult pitch to hit. Two outs. Pitch misses, and the count is filled up. Really good take, especially with two strikes. The pitch. And that's ball four. Not what he wanted to do right there, Boog. That keeps this inning alive, puts a runner in the scoring position, and a chance for this offense to add on to their lead. And it'll be George Springer to step to the plate. Two on, two outs. And fouled off. down the line towards the corner nice grab on the run that is the inning welcome back bottom four digging in it's the speedy outfielder Randy Arozarena the 1-1 one -one. Swing and a high fly ball, pretty well struck. Right field, leaping, can't haul it in. And it hits the base of the wall. And the tying runs at second base with a double. And now the hitter, G-Man Choi. So the tying run at second. Pitch misses, it's two and two. Runner leads away at second. Rips that one center field. That's a base hit. A couple of hits in a row for him here. Pitch was on the outside. Didn't go the other way with it, but still a nice job of using the big part of the field to find a hole. No way he hits it that well if he hooks around the baseball ball. This one swung on and hit well. Way back there. And it's gone. A three-run shot, and they throw three on the board. It's 3-1. Manuel Margot up to the plate. And a pinch. Just missed. Can be tough to bounce back after a big home run, but nobody on, nobody out. You just have to treat it as a fresh inning. 
ground ball left side the throw to first and that's the first out nice recovery after giving up the homer Mike Zunino next to hit for the Rays he's built his reputation as one of the top framers in the sport Next offering is in for a strike. One ball, two strikes. And the right hander deals. The punch out there. And there are two down. Here's Kevin Kiermaier. You talk about elite defensive players, especially in the middle of the diamond. And this guy is at the top of the list. Out towards right center. That's well struck. And that one is going to go. That'll fire up the dugout, and they add to the lead. It's 4-1. Back to the top of the lineup, and now it's Brandon Lau. He has, as they like to say, light tower power. Not a big guy, but a big swing. And thunder in that bat. Left-hand batter waits. Swung on, belted. That's back there. Dives, but it falls. And now it looks like extra bases. Pulls into third safely with a triple. Well, patience and discipline paid off right there as he got into an advantage count. Put a pretty good swing on that one as he drove it out to deep left. Didn't quite have the right combination of launch angle and exit velocity to get it over the fence, but you're never going to be disappointed with extra bases. Kicks and deals. Just off the inside edge. Righty to the plate. Swing and a pop-up. Espinal under it. Makes the grab, and that's the inning. And welcome back. Ready now for the fifth inning. And now for the Jays, Bo Bichette. Here's a 1-1. Swing and a line drive. Base hit out of the center field. And the leadoff man aboard. Now Stepping in the long ball threat. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. The pitch. And there's something you don't see very much in today's game. The pitch out. Rudder at first with no outs here. Next one is off the play, and that's ball three. And a pitch. Fouled off left side. And down on strikes he goes, and one away. They hand the ball over to a new arm, Josh Fleming, trying to protect this lead. Well, at this point of the ball game, we're talking about middle innings, and the little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. Here's Teoscar Hernandez. Next offering is down low. And here it comes. And he swings and lifts one to deep center field. That one back. And it is gone. Teoscar Hernandez hits one out. And they cut into the deficit. It's 4-3. One down. Lourdes Goriel Jr. Next up for the Blue Jays. Next one in the dirt. That one's on its way. No question about it. And that one will go. Lourdes Goriel Jr. goes yard. And it ties it up. It's 
Back-to-back -back homers, always a special feeling at the ballpark, especially if it's your team that does it and those guys get to slap hands at home plate. This is the kind of thing that can really fire up a ball club. One out, base is empty. Here's the third baseman, Matt Chapman. Next one misses, ball two. Two balls, one strike, the count. The wind of the pitch. Close, but called a ball. And now three and one. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. Ground ball up the middle, and it's through for a hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Well, that was one of those high percentage advantage counts where batting averages are just so much higher. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch, just shot it through the infield. Now at the plate, Alejandro Kirk. Still only one out here in the inning. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, try to stay out of a double play here. Ripped on a line. Pulls it down, and he makes the catch. And there's two down. Here's the second baseman, Santiago Espinal. Tied at four. Bounce to the left side. Diaz collects it. They get the force, and that is that. We head to the bottom of the fifth, and stepping in for the Rays, Austin Meadows. Left-hand hitter waits. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. Righty delivers. Stays alive. And a 1-2 again. And misses inside. inside. The pitch. Got him looking. And the leadoff man set down in their half of the fifth. Randy or Rosarena next to hit for the Rays. Really good piece of hitting last time going to the opposite field. And the righty deals. And a foul ball, he stays alive. to kick the pitch. Count is three and two. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. That one back there. And gone. Randy Rosarena bless one out. And it gives him the lead in the fifth. It's 5-4. Ross Stripling comes on now. He's into the game with the bases empty. Number 48, Ross so one out, nobody on. So next to the plate for Tampa Bay, G-Man Choi. And that one lifted in the air center field. And George makes the grab. And there's two down. Next to hit, Yandi Diaz. Yandi Diaz. And a pitch. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. Hernandez makes the catch, and that'll do it. Back here at the ballpark, Danny Jansen to hit here.
next offering is in for a strike. The pitch. Got him. And one out now. So the lineup flips over. Here's the center fielder, George Springer. Three, two now. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. Stays alive. Little chopper rolls foul. Also really good at bat. What I like about this guy, his bat stays in the zone for a long time. Gives him the ability to foul off tough pitches. And there's a foul ball. Swing and a pop-up. Foul territory for the catcher. Makes the catch up against the wall in foul territory. Two outs, base is empty. And the batter now, Bo Bichette. To the right side, Lau handles, gathers, and yeah. throws to first. And Machete is retired. That's out number three. Back here at Tropicana Field, bottom of the six. Now it's the right fielder, Manuel Margot. One, two to Margot. And that's downstairs and outside. Really good slider. He's up there just hoping that it ends up off the plate away. Tap back to the mound. On to first. One away, bottom of the sixth. Deceptive slider right there. Stayed in the tunnel a long time. Got that hitter out front. Rolled over it. Put it on the ground. At the plate, Mike Zunino. Next offering is fouled back. Right-handed reliever. Fought off foul. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Here's Kiermaier now. And he deals. And yeah, now two balls and a strike. I got two on the count. Two down, nobody on. That one fouled off. Two and two. Here comes a pitch. Foul ball there. The wind and the pitch. Lifted in the air, right center field. Hernandez heading to the alley. Makes a nice grab at a full sprint. And that is that. Here's a new pitcher from the pen, Matt Whistler. And he'll do his best to hang on to this lead. We go to the top of the seventh, and now for the Jays, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. And a ball evens the count. Kicks and fires. Good eye right there. This is a really good feeling for a hitter. At this point in the ball game, you know that they don't want to walk you, so you're going to get a pitch to hit. You just better not miss it. The 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Second walk of the game for him, and he's been really patient at the play, the game plan that he's sticking to. He's just not going outside of what he's looking for up there. 2-2 two, two down. 
Bounding ball here, rolls foul. With a single base runner because of all the power, they are dangerous to tie this thing up or take the lead. Everyone here understands just how quickly things could change. The pitch. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Well, he hasn't gotten the result yet, but it's got to feel pretty confident. Three foul balls in a row. He's right on this guy. The next pitch misses. Three and two now. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get in the scoring position. Now on this count, runner not known for his speed, but I think you got to put him in motion. Try to avoid a double play here, Booth. At the belt and fires. Good no, plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Pretty much the last thing you want from your bullpen arms are free passes, especially in spots like this. Make the team earn their way off. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. Yeah, the Rays, they go to the bullpen. Ryan Thompson, and he'll work on holding this lead. Here is Matt Chapman for the fourth time tonight. And there's a ball. Two on, one out. You got a full count. Oh, that drilled him. Throw over to Choi. Got him. Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. Nice job of the pitcher to bear down, make the pitch, get the ground ball. Excellent piece of work. Big spot. Two out, both the tying and go-ahead runs are aboard. In the air, right field, Margot settles underneath it, and that is that. Ladies and gentlemen, please join for the Elevating the Threat. Set for the last half of the seventh. Standing in is the power hitting second baseman, Brandon Lau. The pitch. I got three and two. On the ground, right side. Guerrero takes it himself and one away in the bottom of the seventh. And the batter will be the shortstop, Wander Franco. Right-hander kicks, deals. Now a drag bunt, third base side. And he barehands it, and they get the out. Two outs, base is empty. Next is the designated hitter, Austin Meadows. Next offering misses, two balls and a strike. Just missed. On the ground at first. He steps on the bag, inning over. Back now in Tampa Bay, ready to begin the eighth. And now for the Jays, Santiago Espinal. Lifted in the air, right field. 
and there's one away. JT Shagwa on the pitch here. He's being eased into the game here with the bases empty. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention please. Now pitching for the Braves, number 84, JT Shagwa. Pitch hitter coming on, Reese McGuire. One out and the base is empty for him. The tying run at the plate. Got him. And a couple of quick outs. So the batting order turns over. George Springer next up for the Blue Jays. One one now. That's down and in. That one misses. Now three and one. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. And yeah, there's ball four. I don't think he really wanted to pitch to him right there, anyhow. So up next, Bo Bichette, known for his late-inning heroics. To the right side, he takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. Staying in the game on defense, Reese now McGuire. He takes over behind the plate to do the catching after entering the game as a pinch hitter. Welcome back. And now, Randy or Rosarena. And a pinch. And now it's even up. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. Fires across the diamond. One gone to the bottom of the eighth. So digging in, G-Man Choi. The first baseman, G-Man Choi. Left-hand batter waits. Fouls one off, two and two. Righty to the plate. This to center field. Springer on the move. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Two away. Now the third baseman, Yandy now Diaz. He's already homered in this game. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. In the air, right field, Hernandez moving back for this one. And that will end the inning. Now on the mound for the Rays, Andrew Kittredge. Number 36, Andrew Kittredge. We go to the ninth, and here's the first baseman, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Looking to get the tying run on base. So a foul ball makes it one and two. These guys like this that have so much power, look forward to seeing them hit the ball a long way. But if you're in the stands, or you're in a broadcast booth, or you're a writer, better keep your eye on the game. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Teoscar Hernandez. Ripped into left center for a base hit. And that puts the tying run on base. No, oh, that at bat had a lot riding on it. Certainly a pivotal swing of the bat in this ball game. Didn't get cheated on that swing and squared it up perfectly. Came off the bat at 111, and when that's the case, the odds are very much in your favor as a hitter. On the ground to the left, and that's just foul. 
Really been able to slow down the game tonight with his at-bats and the biggest one he's had so far. He doesn't look anxious at all. Line to right, and this one could be extra bases. Runner around third on his way to the plate. The relay throw. Slide save. And they've tied it in the top of the ninth. Well done. Drives in the run. When you connect and it jumps off your bat like that, you're thinking double at the very least. What a great swing on it. And, man, he wasn't fooled at all. One out. Runner at second. Here's Matt Chapman. And a pitch. Well, Boog, if you're that base runner at second base, you want to be quiet out there. Not bouncing around, not distracting your teammate, the hitter. Make sure that he can clearly focus on that pitcher and that release point. And he chases that one. Two away. And now to the plate. Here's the Toronto DH. Alejandro Kirk. Here's a 2-1. Two down. Go ahead, run in scoring position. Next offering finds the zone, and the count is full. Is there a little wrinkle to that? I think there was. Yeah. A little slider action. Yeah, the right hater deals. So now two on and two outs. Well, a breaking ball in that 3-2 count kind of tells you that that's the pitch he has the most confidence in right now. Just couldn't find the strike zone. They go with one of their more experienced arms in this spot. Brooks Raley. He has a great slider with tons of movement. First and second, two outs. Santiago Espinal next up for the Blue Jays. Kicks and deals. And that'll load the bases. Well, interesting. He went with the off speed and walked the hitter. Man, you got to challenge the guy with the fastball. Go ahead, run on base. Here's the Toronto catcher, Reese McGuire. Went down on strikes his first time through. Next pitch is outside. Look, in situations like these, the air can get really thin up there at the plate. Got to find a way to breathe and slow everything down. Left field, a Rosarena under this one. Makes the play, and it's out number three. Kevin Biggio, he's out in left field getting loose there as he enters the game on defense now. And welcome back. We head to the bottom of the ninth. Now here is Manuel Margot. The one-two. And Marco able to spoil that one. The pitch. Stays alive. That one fouled off. Pitcher having a pretty tough time getting that swing and miss. Third foul ball in a row. That one hit to right. And it's just fouled. And a foul ball, he stays alive. The wind of the pitch. Got him. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. Now up for Tampa Bay, Mike Zunino. This guy with light tower power. Strike two. He's had a tough day at the plate. Three strikeouts already. It's hard not to think negative, but you got to find a way to somehow center up the baseball and put it in play. And a swing and a miss. And that quickly, two away. And now Kevin Kiermeyer. He's already homered here in this one. Trying to send this to extra innings. And that one wrapped foul. 
and a pitch. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Back here at the ballpark. On to extra innings. Here's George Springer to start it off. Into center. Back there. Pulls it in on the warning track. Runner tags it second. He gets there. Winning run at third with only one out. And here is Bo Bichette. One away with a runner at third. Next offering is way upstairs. In the infield at the corners. Don't be surprised to see them come home first and prevent that run from scoring. Fouls one away and now three and two. And now the lefty fouled off again and it remains three and two. Three and two now. Got him! Huge strikeout there. And now the first baseman, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. All tied up here in extra innings. Two outs. Popped in the air. Left field. A Rosarena has a beat on it. And puts the squeeze on that one. And the inning is over. here at Tropicana Field on to the bottom of the 10th. Lau at the plate. Oh, and this one's plastic. High and deep. It's on its way. Out of here. Ball game. Brandon Lau bops one out of here. And the Rays walk it off in extra innings. Back and forth ball game. You get to extra innings. It seems like every guy is trying to come up with the big swing to hit the homer and end the ball game. Well, he did it. Huge swing of the bat, and we're all heading home. A 7-5 final score in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Chambi saying so long from Tampa Bay. Final line score for our ball game tonight. For the victorious Rays, seven runs, seven hits, no errors. They left four men on base. For the Blue Jays, five runs on 11 hits, no errors. They left 14 men on base. Time of the ball game, 3-2.
three hours and 24 minutes.